slightly different styles in the way they come in the front door, but both of them effective. Barry, who's your favorite here? You have to say MJ. I think, you know, I think his balance, you know, his counter punching ability is really good, and he's strong, very clever. I think, I think with Tapala, Tapala sat on that back foot really well with a long reach and was really clever. Made him look, made him look very stationary for the, for the for first time in his career. I thought it was a really good performance by Tapala, but when he's in, when he's in full flow, MJ is very very hard to beat. Full flow means when he's actually moving his feet, getting those angles. It looks like he's dancing, and that's the reason they call him MJ. He loves he loves that type of fight uh, uh, movement. When it, whenever his feet are moving, that's when he's firing his best. I thought it was because of Michael Jackson. That's exactly what it is. There are two things you mentioned, Todd. One of them that you mentioned was the start. M. Jack Medaglia did get off to a slow start in that fight against Marlon Tapala. He's really put himself in a hole through the first six rounds. The other thing I'm going to watch is that left hand. Ak Medaglia didn't throw that left hand oh. with the same type of ferocity that he has in the past. That's the same hand that he broke just about a couple of years ago now. So we'll see how active he is with it in this fight tonight. Gonzalez with a whipping right hook. Yeah, that's his best punch, and he turns it into a right uppercut as well. And there is an avenue for a right uppercut to land on Akhmedaliev. There was a time where no one wanted to fight MJ. Couldn't even really get sparring partners to step in there with him. But now he's been beaten, and Gonzalez thinks he could be beaten again. That right hook, like you said, Sergio, seems to be Gonzalez's best punch. Yep, right hook and the left uppercut. Those are the punches he's looking for. No jabs coming out of Gonzalez. Most of the jabs are coming out of Medalia. In order for Gonzalez to close that distance, head movement like he's doing there, sneak his, foot, his front foot in, and then he can bang away at the body. That's how you stop the movement and the angles of Medalia. Just going back and forth in straight lines over here, Medalia. He just needs to go take a little pivot to the right. One step back, then, then a twist. Surprisingly, Gonzalez is the first undefeated, undefeated opponent that Akhmedaliev has ever faced. Not to belabor the point, but you go back to look at some of Akhmedaliev's earlier fights against Daniel Roman, against Ronnie Rios. He really let that left hand go a lot in those fights. Against Apollos, he didn't, especially early on. Right now, it's all jabs coming from MJ Akhmedaliev. What a fight that Ronnie Rios battle was. As MJ got a last round stoppage over a very game Ronnie Rios. And he did it with that broken hand. Went for broke in the 12 with Literally. that broken hand. Barry, I was just as fascinated with the translation job Sergio was doing. He did a great job, didn't he? Absolutely fa unbelievable stuff. Look, there it is again. The right hook's gonna land. Akhmedali is gonna get, he better be sharp. And to keep that left hand up. And here's the war. The trainer was asking for, and the crowd certainly wants. And that's exactly what his fight. He needs to push back Akhmedaliev, get him fighting off the back foot. He looks a bit shocked here as well, doesn't he, Akhmedaliev? He's like, wait a minute, I thought we were boxing here. <laughs> what happened after those first two rounds? Yeah, boxing's going to be all Akhmedaliev. That's MJ's fight. Fighting, that's going to be the Mexican's part. Well, Akhmedaliev is so used to dictating the pace, isn't he? So used to being in control of what happens, forcing you to throw, making you pay for your mistakes. But Gonzalez here is doing a fantastic job. Good to see Sonny Edwards, who's a huge NBA fan, by the way, Chris. He uh, went to a Phoenix Suns game. They put him up on the big jumbotron. He was smiling ear to ear. Stop! Let me tell you, if Sonny Edwards did not get those Phoenix Suns tickets, we would not be seeing Sonny Edwards in the ring tonight. <laughs> Uh, if he was only two feet taller, he could have been an NBA player. He's, he's trying, to, trying to rush his work too much here, Gonzalez. And again, go back to what Sergio said in the last round. That jab's non-existent, no? Nope. And that, that's the reason Akhmedalev is able to just, you know, go from left to right. Ooh, that left right on the ear seemed to hurt Gonzalez a little bit. He's starting to show the wear all over his face of the heavy-hitting Uzbekistani fighter. MJ, don't hold. Don't hold. Let's go. Well, Gonzalez is right there in front of MJ. And he's having a little success here at the start of the round, but it just got caught. 
It was that left uppercut I was talking about. It was only a matter of time. Gonzalez kept dipping down in the same side, finally caught up to him. You know, I think what Kevin Gonzalez is complaining about right now is that he feels the initial time his knee touched, it was because of a shot. While that knee was on the ground, and Jay hit him with a big shot, that clearly hurt him. And he's getting caught again. There's no accident here. MJ going for the kill. That left uppercut is going to land again. Right hook, left uppercut. Seems to be hurting it, Barry. That's what he's got to do. He's got to get close. He's got to rush. I'm going to live here again. Hold on. Try and get your feet under you again. Oh, man. The body language is all wrong. He's trying to convince himself he's not hurt. But the body's telling a different story. Still plenty of time in this round. He goes down. Will they call it a knockdown? They will, but it looked like a slip. It looked like a flip. Six, seven, eight. Maybe one of those accumulative damage type of knockdowns. Well, considering he is hurt, that's the reason they're calling it a comment. He, he got hit with a, with a left hook to the body, but, the, but then it was about two seconds before he fell over. I, I, I think it was just the feet getting tangled up. That's a good shot there from Akpadeliev. Oh, yeah, everything's landing. Gonzalez has got to catch him coming in, get his respect. Gonzalez is a wounded warrior right now. Can the Jackal find a way out of this trouble? I'm trying to fight Stop back here, there he goes. Bucks. 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 There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Is he going to survive the round? Two knockdowns here in the six for Akhmedaliev. Here we go, here we go, stop. I would think that a flurry of punches would open up that, per that shot stop. instead of just looking for that one single bomb. See that? That's yeah. one single bomb. That, that's oh, and there was the uppercut. He should wave it off right now. Gonzalez, give him credit for getting back up. Five, six, He's got heart, Sergio. Seven, eight. Walk to me, walk to me. This is the definition of a warrior wanting to go out on a shield. Are you going to allow that to happen? All right, but what are we doing here? Like, this kid is beaten Stop down. The Stop the fight. And that is it. Let me tell you something. That is on the referee and the corner of this kid. He was down and hurt badly after that last knockdown.